Hello guys and welcome to yet another in-depth review here on NNT Auto Reviews. My name is Tyler, as always, bringing you these in-depth walk-around videos. And today we're taking a look at a really, really nice full-size family sedan here. And it is, of course, the 2018 Chevy Impala and the LT trim level. And before we get started with this video, I'd like to give a huge thanks to the Terryville Chevrolet of Terryville, Connecticut for allowing me to take a look at the car in today's video. And if you're interested in purchasing any Chevy from these guys, go ahead and check out the description box where their website has been listed. Alrighty, so before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at our window sticker and take a look at the options list. Now this car is fairly loaded up to the point where it's almost a top of the line trim level. It actually has leather seats and all that good stuff. But we do have the Midnight Edition Appearance Package, which makes this car look really great. And we'll take a look at all those features that the Midnight Edition uh, does give you. We also do the sunroof and spoiler package, the LT leather package. We get the uh, 3.6 liter V6, the LT convenience package, uh, which gives us a bunch of really cool entertainment um, package uh, or options there. We also do have the LT entertainment package, the driver confidence package, which gives you all kinds of cool features, and our destination charge of 875. And that brings us to a total sticker price of 38,000 and four hundred and sixty dollars alrighty so taking a look at the side profile of the Impala the wheelbase does stand at a rather long hundred and eleven point seven inches that's good because you have a bunch of room inside the interior of the car and as far as your color options go this one we see here is called jet black and there is ten total color options for the LT trim level and wrapping around to the rear of the 2018 Impala, front wheel drive does come standard and it is your only drivetrain option for the entire Impala lineup. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start the exterior features portion of the video with all of our exterior features. And we can start up front with our headlamps. Now, our headlamps use a single projector bulb for both your high and low beams, you can see that. And it's got some pretty cool details in the headlight, we can see that Chevy emblem in there and a little bit of chrome. And keep in mind this car is running, keep, keep a listen to how quiet it is. And take a look at the grill, surrounded in black, even the Chevy bow ties in black thanks to the uh, Midnight Edition appearance package. We have our daytime running lights are fully illuminated as we speak and they are all LED lights down there. Some more subtle chrome accents but most of it is black. Again thanks to the Midnight Appearance Package. But take a look at the hood, got some pretty neat creases towards the middle there. Nice uh, 19 inch wheels. Uh, aluminum wheels. The face of the wheels are that machine color and then we have some black pockets. And the front tires measure 245-45. Ventilated disc brakes in there as well. Take a look at that. There's chrome surrounding all the windows and then our pillars are gloss black. Nice uh, body colored mirrors with their LED um, turn signals on them as well. Our Impala logo is present on the driver's door. And also on the mirrors. You can get a better view of those LED turn signals and we can see that little symbol right there. That is for our blind spot warning. Taking a cruise back a little bit further, we have our nice body colored door handles with the smart key entry, which I will get into a little bit later in the video. Taking a look up top, we have that dual pane sunroof. So we have a front section and a rear section. We also have our shark fin antenna. Nice use of chrome back here. And the signature Impala logo is present. Ventilated disc brakes back here as well. Nice to see for a large car. And taking a look back here, we have our traditional tail lamps. 
Nothing too fancy, but it got a pretty cool design with the halogen lights. We have our V6 badging. You can see some uh, circles around the bumper. Those are your parking sensors. We also do have the Impala embroidered in the back uh, trunk lid there. The blacked out Chevy emblem again. And our backup camera is pretty close to center right there. And thanks to the uh, spoiler and moonroof package, we get that nice deck lid spoiler running across the trunk lid there. At this point in the video, let's go ahead and check out what powers this Impala. So, standard on Premier trim levels and optional on the LT trim level, like we see here, is a 3.6 liter V6 produces some pretty healthy numbers 305 horsepower at 6800 rpm and 264 pound-feet of torque at 5200 rpm and this is a naturally aspirated motor like you would expect and GM uses this motor in so many products from the Colorado to even the um, Cadillac XT5 so you know this motor is going to be is proven and it's been around for quite a while so you're not going to have a problem with it in long term however there is a big engine cover which I'm not a big fan of it does take 5W30 oil though which is good you can check a bunch of fluids under here, your air filter is right underneath here Alrighty, so before we go ahead and head into the interior, let's go ahead and check out this smart key entry system. So it's pretty much the same as all GM systems work. You just keep the key fob in your pocket and you can start locking and unlocking. The car is unlocked at the moment, but if you want to lock it, just press that chrome button right there. All four doors will lock. If you want to unlock it, just press that button again. The driver's door will unlock. Press it again. All four doors will unlock. Now just to kind of go over the materials that you can get in the LT trim level, you can get two different colors um, with the cloth slash leatherette interior. However, we do have the full leather interior which gives you three different color choices. This one is the black leather. Keep in mind this car has lots of options. Nice soft Dutch door panels all the way up here. Very nice stitching throughout the door panel. We have some pretty neat metallic accents over here and over here. The chrome uh, door handle is over there. We have the lock unlock buttons. Take a look at this grain. I'm not quite sure if it's a wood grain or what, but it's really, really cool nonetheless. We have our um, power mirrors over here. Our front and rear window controls are found over here. And our um, window lockout for the child locks is right there. Over here where your arm's going to rest is very soft so there's no fatiguing going to be going on if you're going on long trips. And down here is more of a harder touch plastic but that's what you expect. You have a cubby over here with a bottle holder and a Bose speaker and that is one of 11 Bose speakers. That is part of a package, however a 6 speaker audio system does come standard. Now one thing that really impresses me about this car is the seats. And in particular, these thigh extensions are very, very comfortable. And the seat is very soft leather. There's some stitching going all the way around the seats and some in the center as well. 10-way powered with your two-way lumbar routed right here. And take a look at the pedals. Nice uh, metal pedals with the raised rubber grip, grip so you don't lose your grip. And we have our... Um, hood release over there and a nice dead pedal. Carpeted floor mats will button in with these buttons right there. And while we're out here we can take a look at the left of the dash. We have a, a nice air vent over here and this is all soft touch material even all the way up to here on the dash. 
But we do have some controls over here. Our electronic parking brake is routed here. Also your gauge damper, our trunk release, and our parking sensors on and off. I have a pretty good amount of space right here for a little change bucket or a storage pouch for whatever you need. That's always helpful. And the steering wheel is both tilt and telescoping with that little lever right here. But now let's go ahead and hop on in, start it up, and check out the rest of the interior. So here is the key fob that Chevy gives you for the 2018 Impala. Pretty traditional key but pretty nice. A little bit of styling on the back with some chrome and the Chevy emblem. Over here we have a unlock and lock button, trunk release, a remote start button, and your panic alarm. We also do have the switchblade key in case you need to use that in case the battery dies or whatnot in the key fob. But all you really need to do to start the car is make sure the key's on the inside of the vehicle. Put your foot on the brake and hit that start button. Alrighty, so we can go ahead and start off this interior portion of the video with this really nice leather wrapped steering wheel. You have very subtle grip bolsters right over here, but you do have some nice stitching on the inside of the wheel. Um, soft leather on the wheel, which is uh, nice, has a little bit of a give to it. But as far as functionalities on the steering wheel over here, we have our cruise control. And this button right over here controls our heated steering wheel. Over here we have all of our media controls, so voice commands, uh, Bluetooth telephone. We also do have these four uh, quadrants right here for the um, display right up there, which we'll get into when we check out the gauges. But behind the steering wheel we have our uh, blinkers, as well as our high beams, and the rest of our lights are routed over here as well. And over here we have our wiper controls on this stock. So taking a look up here are our gauges. Pretty nice uh, gauges here with a nice, very useful display over here. So we have our RPMs off to the left, our, our fuel gauge and temperature, and then our big speedometer over there. But as far as our functionalities of the screen over here, let's go ahead and check them out using these buttons right over here. So we can use our left and right buttons to uh, control what different menus we go in. And there's different sub-menus within those menus that we control off to the left. So just to go through a few for you really quick, and the camera's probably not picking that up, but that um, this right here tells you what the speed limit uh, is on the road that you're on. The audio screen shows you what's going on with your audio. Phone screen. Navigation, so if you had something going on uh, you have, if you had a route going on with your navigation, that would show up right here. And just some various options. So pretty useful screen. I definitely keep it on the digital speedometer. That's what I just keep it on for my car, uh, my personal car at least. But it's easy to just glance down and take a look at the uh, digital speedometer there. It would be nice if I had that uh, speed limit info on my car, though. So the upper dash has a really nice design. It kind of continues that metallic trim, goes all the way up and around, even to the passenger side. 
which really shows the amount of quality that that Chevy put into redesigning this Impala back in 2014. So really pretty nice. Uh, you even have some stitching all the way up here and a couple speakers, as you can see. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, MyLink screen that, that Chevy gives you. So this is an 8-inch screen, and it's going to come standard on all Impalas for this year, even the base model LS. Uh, which used to come with a very small screen. Now it comes with this nice big screen as standard. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the functionalities. Very easy to get used to screen. So we have our exterior temperature, our time is over there. And then our Wi-Fi settings over here as well. Uh, this car does have 4G LTE Wi-Fi if you are subscribed to OnStar. So here's our radio screen here. We have all of our presets down at the bottom, a bunch of settings. We also have some short shortcut settings up here for our different menus. But our home button is located right over here. Our phone screen, of course, all of our contacts and stuff will sync over right over here. And we have more menus at the bottom. Projection has to do with Apple Auto and Android, um, or rather, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We also have our navigation, which is built in, optional. You can zoom in and out. And put our destination right over there. All of our settings are over here as well. We also have weather, which is really nice. Text messages, OnStar, and traffic, which is again very nice. And our shop, which will allow us to download different um, apps and whatnot to our car. So pretty neat air vents over here, some nice soft touch material as well. Lots of use of soft touch material even despite the fact that this is not a uh, luxury grade car per se. But uh, nonetheless, really nice use of soft touch materials. Over here we have our hazards button. Also have our volume knob that also turns on and off our radio. So shortcut buttons are over here, radio, media, uh, skip between our uh, different songs a back button, a home button like we saw earlier, and a tune knob, and a menu button. And if you're wondering what this button is, don't tell anybody, but there's a secret compartment right behind that screen over there. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we have a bunch of room in there, actually. It probably fit my phone, the standard size iPhone. And we also have a USB connection there so we could charge it. And it is all felt lined in there, so whatever you put in there is going to stay safe. But again, don't tell anybody, it's a secret. So down here we have a dual zone climate control above our CD player. Um, so dual zone climate control, which means you have two individual temperatures, you can take that sink off, and if the driver wants to be warmer than the passenger, then you could adjust that. Or if the passenger wants to be colder than the driver, then you can adjust that as well. AC button recycling, and then these are all, all of our different zones where you want the air to blow. And our fan speed is a knob, which is much appreciated. Front and rear defrosts over there as well. And over here you get a better view of the push button, ignition button, uh, surrounded in chrome. And there is a bunch of chrome throughout the interior too. So if you take a look down here, we get a nice view of the trim. Take a look at that. I don't believe it's real wood, but it definitely looks really nice, so in that case it shouldn't matter. Opening this tray reveals a little bit of storage and a 12 volt power outlet. Over here we have some nice uh, cup holders surrounded in chrome. And over here we have our gear selector for our 6 speed automatic transmission. We're in park at the moment, but if we want to put ourselves in reverse, a nice backup camera shows up. Quality isn't too great, but at least you have a backup camera and the guidance lines move very smoothly. We have a neutral drive and then a manual mode which you can select between all of your gear, gear uh, your gears rather with the plus and minus at the top. So back in the park, you can check out some buttons we have down here. So our heated seat controls are over here. Of course, uh, cooled seats are available on the Premier trim level. But we can choose between only the backrest being heated or the backrest and the bottom of the seat being heated. And they are three uh, stage heated seats. And our traction control off button is right there. So nice big armrest in the center 
We have some stitching over here, nicely covered in leather, it's very soft. And take a look at that, you have plenty of storage in here, a removable tray. You have two USB connections, an auxiliary connection, and a 12 volt power outlet. And it's a rubberized tray at the bottom, so whatever you put down there isn't going to move around. So we have an auto dimming mirror up here, you can see the sensor right there. And taking a look up here, we have our OnStar controls, passenger airbag on and off. We also do have some LED illumination on either side for the reading lamps. And we also have some more um, lighting controls to where if you want the lights to turn on when the door opens. Our garage door home links are over here as well as our sunroof controls which we'll get into in just a second. Nice soft headliner, take a look at that. So it's definitely nice and soft. Our visors over here do extend to over here to block the sunlight. They have some lights and a mirror. And a grab handle is present as well. So take a look at the sunroof. I do have the shade up right now because it's actually getting pretty warm, believe it or not, in October up here in Connecticut. But the shade does block 100% of the light. And we can control the shade via this button right here. If we press it, it is a one touch and it goes all the way back. Very nice panoramic sunroof, definitely opens up the interior. And it already, already is a uh, pretty large interior, so you definitely have enough room to spread around. But uh, you can open the sunroof to vent it up, like so, with this button. And then it also acts as the sliding button, too. Again, fully automatic. And it'll go back to there. And you even have a wind deflector that pops up, which is really nice. I have a Chevy Cruze that has the same sort of wind deflector and you can only, you can almost not even hear the sunroof open when it is open, so very nice uh, feature that that comes with. And let's go ahead and close up the shade again because it is getting kind of warm in here. Alrighty, so before we go ahead and check out the rear of the interior, I have adjusted my seat to a more normal um, driving position for myself, which I am 5'10". So you guys can kind of get a um, pretty good outline of where we're at with legroom. So let's go ahead and check out that rear of the interior now. And when you close the doors in the Apollo, it's a really nice solid thud. And it's not that loud, it's very quiet sound though. So it definitely shows some quality there. So taking a look up here, same soft touch materials as we saw up front. Down here it's even softer where your elbow is going to rest. With a little bit of that cool trim with your uh, chrome surrounded um, window switch as well as your uh, door handle there. You even get a speaker on the rear door which is nice. And in case you're wondering, this is just some protective material that um, the car has when it's shipped. This car is right off the truck. So take a look at the rear seats. You have the same nice thigh extensions as you do up front, which makes for a really comfortable seat. Let's go ahead and hop in and see how much room I have back here. So wow, take a look at that. That is plenty of room, I'd say more than six inches of room back here. So that's definitely pretty impressive, but what, what else would you expect from a large family sedan like this? Map pocket back here, we also do have uh, quite a big drivetrain hump, so center passenger is definitely going to straddle that. But you definitely do have enough room for a center passenger, it's pretty big back here. Taking a look back here, we have a regular household outlet, which is awesome for charging laptops and whatnot. We also have some nice trim and a couple of air vents. So we have a couple of LED lights back here as well and you can see the sunroof doesn't carry all the way back but it is obviously a lot bigger than a standard sunroof which is pretty cool. It's a nice small headrest definitely aids in visibility. Now I have to say my mom has a 2011 Impala and there is a center um, headrest there and it really really does block the visibility so I'm glad they got rid of that in this uh, generation Impala 
nice back shelf you can definitely see that there's a ton of room underneath there for the trunk and you even have a couple of speakers back there and we have a nice fold down armrest very soft with a couple of cup holders but really nice attention to detail even back here where some cars lack but not this one very nice interior for the 18 Impala now let's go ahead and check out the front passenger space alrighty so pretty same pretty much the same design as the uh, driver's door just a few less buttons we still do have an unlock and lock button our window switch is there we have some that some of that cool trim some stitching a little bit of storage space and a speaker but we do have power seats even over here and they are 10 way powered which is really really cool even the passenger gets treated to lumbar seats awesome to see that again even in a car that's not per se a luxury car so over here we do have a fairly small glove box but it definitely will fit some of your literature that comes with the car and again take a look at the carpet underneath the, the uh, carpeted floor mats that will button in very nice interior overall for the 2018 Impala so now let's go ahead and check out what lies underneath the trunk of this 18 Impala and I'm going to open the trunk by just holding the button on the key fob and it'll pop the trunk on op open all the way for us revealing a plethora of room back here I believe it's just under 19 cubic feet which is enough for just about anything now there is some paperwork back here but we also do have the carpeted floor mats you can see that uh, the mat for the trunk is already installed so and and the cargo net is installed as well take a look underneath the mat that's the standard uh, trunk floor that you get and if you lift this up you have a little bit of storage and your spare tires underneath there as well and if you see that crease right in there that's where your seats fold down 60 40 and up here everything's all covered so you don't get to see any loose wires or anything like that and you even have a light back there too and to shut this trunk you just grab the handle right here and bring it right on down So, opening the cap to our 18 and a half gallon fuel tank, get some pretty good gas mileage for such a large car. Keep in mind we do have 300 horsepower, over 300 horsepower as well. So we get 18 miles to the gallon in the city and 28 on the highway. We have a traditional uh, cap and we can hang the tether right there so the cap doesn't scratch our paint on the outside. So unfortunately we do have to conclude this video, but I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you stay with us for future in-depth reviews.